Welcome to my new channel. It's called Roger Scott. That's me, Roger Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I am creating this channel to stay focused, to challenge myself, and to be more active. Today might be day one of my fitness journey on social media, but my fitness journey actually started when your boy was just nine years old. This is me. Bleach spiky hair with rolls. While I was happy having multiple dinners a night, no, you think I'm kidding. I had a schedule. I had a routine. I was disciplined, okay? In the wrong way. I would first have dinner around 5.30 at home. Then I would go over to my friend's house across the street and see what's on the menu over there. And they're like, oh, Raj, do you want a plate of dinner? And I'm like, of course, why not? It would be rude not to. You would think that would be the end, but it's not. I would then walk over to my other friend's house in the neighborhood and have another full plate of food. Here's the moment when everything changed for me. I go to a pool party. This is a huge pool party, by the way. I felt like the whole school was there. I look around and I see all my friends with their shirts off and they have abs. They did not look like me. So what did I do? <laughs> At the end of the day, it's, it's actually kind of sad. I purposely acted like I tripped over something and fell into the pool with my shirt off. So I didn't have to take it off because I was so damn embarrassed. So later that day, I went home and being embarrassed as I was, I noticed in my dad's office, there was a treadmill. Had a couple cobwebs on it because no one was using it, but I was like, you know what? Today is the day that I'm gonna start running. So I did, I hopped on the treadmill and I started running and huffing and puffing. And I remember my dad walking by and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, dad, I am done being fat. From that day on, fitness has been a huge part of my life. I was a personal trainer at one point for like three years. Then I competed in a bodybuilding show. After that, I actually hired a personal trainer for myself to take my knowledge to the next level and I got in the best shape of my life. I even tried to act and model after that, but that, that, that didn't, that didn't, that just didn't work out. But after that, over the years, I've been just like feeling like that. I've been like in and out with fitness, like playing games with it. Like, oh, I'm committed to fitness. I'm not committed to fitness. I want to get in shape. I don't want to get in shape. And now I'm ready just like, just to dive back in. So what did I do? Me being extreme. I signed up for a marathon, which is 26.2 miles long. And let me just tell you right here before you subscribe and like this video, which, it, which if you haven't, this is my first video. You can't right now. Before we get into this series, I just want you guys to know I absolutely hate running. Like, I, I hate it. I just, I'm not meant to run. If you look at my feet, you're like, that dude should not be running right now. So it's gonna be challenging. It's gonna take my focus. And I'm gonna have to push myself to do something I've never done before. Um, but I'm here for it. So guys, let the training begin. Sorry about run. Sorry off a little rocky. My ankle was a little tender. I'm two and a half miles right now. I feel good, even though I'm slower than a churro, man. 10 minute miles. I'm gonna turn into Forrest Gump real quick and put on this 26 mile heater. It's gonna be so damn challenging. Of four months of training, of getting to a four hour marathon. Slow down a little bit. Now I'm at 11 minutes. <laughs> you gotta get slower and slower. If you really wanna do this, you might embarrass yourself out there, bro. Roger finishes the race. Three days later. I'm running in Adidas right now. And I tell you what, I'm feeling it every step. My big toe's like, yo, why did we wake up to do this today? So I'm really excited to get back home because we're in Vegas right now to get back my marshmallows. They're like this thick. Looks like we're gonna get probably a total of four miles in today. I accidentally just moved my watch and all these runners are like, zone two, zone three, zone four. I had no idea why she even did that. I think it has something to do with your heart, heart rate or something like that. If you know in the comments and you're like, I know what that is, let your boy know. Finish on here we come, baby. 45 minutes, 4.15 miles. I could definitely feel my leg, oh man. I feel like day one, it's not bad, I feel good. Mentally, I feel like I can go longer, but physically, I had to get my body up to par. What'd you say? What? Four miles. Oh my God, that is so good. I might as well run the marathon right now. Just put me in the short shorts, get me out there, and I'll do 26 heater real quick. All right, 28 minutes in. 2.2 miles. This is like day two training, but I haven't actually started my training program to follow with like certain heart rate and certain miles a day. This morning I was like <laughs> debate in my mind. So I was like, should I commit to this? Should I not commit to this? Should I commit to this? Should I not commit to this? And I was like, you know what? I already brought up. That means I need to commit. It doesn't feel the best, but 10 minute miles coming to the end. And yesterday I was at like 11, 20, 11, 30. The speed is starting to increase, which is good. Body's starting to hurt more. Last night I stretched for like 30 minutes because my inner thighs and everything were just like, like someone's got hammers. Like, Hey, Raj, let me just do this to your thigh. Bam, 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 bam. I'm at 3.4, just finishing up. 10 minute, 17 pace. But my heart rate's at 170 BPMs right now. And then boom, four miles. Nashville, we're freaking back. Cold plunge, day one, we are back. 
I'm actually really excited to do this because my ankle has been hurting so bad. I think it's because of the shoes that I've been running in. So I'm really excited to see what happens when I get this core punch. Cause usually if something is inflamed, it like throbs and it sucks. It's painful. It feels like someone's just squeezing my feet, which I'm really not excited about, but I'm excited about. Hey, it's seven days off, man. You feel it. Oh, you know, it hurts so bad. It feels like it's just throbbing with pain. 30 seconds. So. Oh, oh feels good to be back. Oh, it's so cold. God, so cold. So cold. Wow. Freezing. Oh. Day three, at the gym right now, getting my elliptical in. My ankle from the first two days from killing This is the most challenging part. So I'm learning about zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four. Keeping your heart in a certain area, it's quite challenging. So right now I'm trying to keep my heart rate 130 to 135, training for a marathon. Don't mind me. Day three, baby, complete. Doing good, man. I'm excited about this. I burned 827 calories. So that means I'm gonna have to up my food game. I'm the type of dude that loves to eat food. And then I'm watching this guy, my Nick Bear. I don't know if you guys know who Nick Bear is. I'm really inspired by him. He's doing strength training and conditioning, which is interesting because usually when people do marathons, they just go all in with marathons. They're just like running, they get super lean and that's what they do. And this guy's like jacked. He's like jacked, jacked. He has like muscles on muscle. For the next um, 16 to 18 weeks, I might try something like that. Exciting news right there. The marshmallows are back, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot tell you the difference. Running on these shoes compared to my Adidas. Oh my God, my feet are just chilling on clouds. My big toes like, thank you Lord. But we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Feet are feeling good. Run's going good. A 30 minute run today. I got a 60% heart rate at 10 minutes. And then I got 10 minutes at 70%. And then 10 minutes at 80%. And I'm gonna tell you right now, your boy's ready. Birds are flying, birds are chirping. Roger's out here chirping. Trying to keep my heart rate at 150 right now and it's going good it's like 95 percent humidity right now at like 100 degrees I'm absolutely soaked so i'm finishing at a 10 minute pace i went over three miles just by a little bit i kind of want to push myself just a little bit especially since some of my boys there started training like two weeks ago so i have some catching up to do it's good oh yeah oh come home what's up babe sweaty yeah oh give me a hug She'll probably be pissed off if I do that, so I'm not gonna do that. Also, if you're curious what shoes I'm running in, I'm running in the FF Blast Plus, and I absolutely love them. I don't know if I'm gonna switch it up. A couple of my boys are running in the Hoka's, and I might just get another pair to see what it feels like, but so far, I absolutely love these. The guy at the shoe store that recommended these, you're my guy, thank you, bro. Today is a 45 minutes easy steady run at a heart rate of 70 to 80%. One of my longest runs yet. I'm hoping I can get in at least four and a half, five miles would be like my goal. I'm trying to get down to like a nine, nine minute 30 pace. If I can get down to a nine minute 30 pace for week one, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Lambert Fitties are moving today, baby. Two and a half miles. I've been at an 8.30 to 8.45 pace. Oh my God. I just went up this huge ass hill and it felt like a brick wall just hit me. But man, something clicked today. I feel good. I feel great. I'm at 22 minutes. I think I'm gonna finish this one at probably an 8.40 to 8.50 pace. That's knocking off a minute and about 20 to a minute and 40 seconds off my time. Sweating out that equity, baby. You gotta earn this. You gotta earn this. Three point six miles in, 
and tell you what, I'm trying to keep that same pace, nine minutes, and I am starting to feel it. Oh my God, that puts you in your place real fast. I did 47 minutes, went over my goal. I did 5.15 miles, let's go. At a nine minute, 12 second pace. I literally knocked off a minute 40 of my time in one day. I'm pumped, man. That was amazing. Woo! Look at my freaking shirt. Sorry if this is gonna disgust you, but. Ah, pure equity, baby, let's go! Woo! That was almost six miles right there. 100 degrees, 95% humidity. Yo, that's a good day train. Not bad for a kid that never runs, huh? So that was interesting. So right after my run, I hopped in the cold plunge and I got out. My body like started spazzing out. I was getting lightheaded. And then I was like, Talia, you gotta come watch me. But my body's finally bouncing back right now. But got it done, baby. Got it done, feeling good. So this morning we got a little tready workout. So today we're doing 40 minutes, three sets of six, hill runs. Oh. Right on time, baby. Right on time. Ah. 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 All right, up to speed, 5.8. Man, your boy's dripping right now. Ankle feels good. At least two minutes. They go by, they go by way too fast. Uh, two sets in, I got four more to go. How much I'm already sweat. Look. Okay, oh yeah, treadmill's just gonna absolutely destroy. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is this is it. This hurts so bad. You got this. One more, baby. Stop mode. Ah. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Ankle hurts. Lungs hurt. Heart's beating out of control. Yeah, that was probably the hardest workout of the week. I started off at running at 5.8 for the first round. And then I went to 5.8 miles per hour. And then I went to 5.9. And then by the third one, I was like, dude, you gotta reel it back. Round four, I went for, I went down to like 5.5. And then I ended with 5.0 miles per hour at level incline eight. But then on the last minute, I bumped it all the way back up to 5.9 so I could finish strong. Another day down, baby. Absolutely dripping. I did the hose after the workout. Because yesterday, as you guys saw, I got in the cold plunge right after, and I literally felt like I was gonna pass out. So I did the hose today, and it never felt so good. Oh my God, that was by, by far the hardest workout of the week right there. I have like 16 more of those workouts to do until the marathon. Oh my gosh. Day seven. Gosh, I switched up the environment a little bit. Hip was absolutely blasted. Absolutely blasted yesterday from the hills. I had to do like two hours of stretching. I actually didn't think I was gonna make it out today, but thank God I woke up this morning and I'm feeling so much better. But the hills tore me up. But today's run, we're doing an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and 30 minute run, um, which is the longest run I've ever done before. Probably five and a half, six miles today. And keeping my heart at around 150 beats per minute. Hips feeling good, that was gonna be after the count, but I still got 16 weeks of training. Can't be getting hurt right now. I just started training and you're already hurt. Oh, what happened to Roger? Talked to his big game, doing his marathon. And he already he's already out. About two and a half miles in and feeling good. Hip is gone. Thank God. Also, my heart rate started off a little high. And now I'm like at a good pace where my heart rate is starting to drop more and more and more. But I'm maintaining the same speed. Six and a half miles in. Bro, my feet are toasted. Oh, I'm starting to feel a lot. Follow my foot. I'm starting to feel where the pressure is being applied for the last six and a half miles. I was running and I saw this dog in the distance and it ran up to me and jumped on me and just slobbered all over my watch. And I was like, my guy, my guy. I messed up my marathon time, my man. But it was such a few dogs out. I was like, it's all good. Petted him a little bit, kept my run on and coming to the finish, got five minutes left. Got out of this run, man. I don't think I've ever ran seven miles before in my life. Day by day, I'm falling more and more in love with this training process, which is so sick, I'm excited. I did eight miles at a 10 minute and 22 second pace, 
and I burned 1200 calories. That is solid. My heart rate was at an average of 163 BPMs. I'm stoked, I'm getting better. For week one, I'm super pumped, I'm proud. And this hip, you ain't gonna hold me back, bro. Like you're just not gonna do it. You gotta act right, cause we're mentally there. You're just not caught up. You just gotta get there. But <laughs> we completed, baby. I'm proud of that one for sure. New PR in the freaking books and about 16 weeks left to go.